So in this question, we have triangle QRS, and it says to graph and label Q prime, R prime, S prime after a dilation with a scale factor of three halves centered at the origin. Now, when it's centered at the origin, all you have to do is uh, get the coordinates, which I've already done, and you just multiply the scale factor by each of the x and the y values, which in this case, because the scale factor is three halves, if you're not so good with fractions, you could just put it into the calculator. But what you would do is, um, let me just make a little note that you're going to multiply here. Okay, so four times three halves, again, just kind of put in the calculator, you get six. Now how I'm doing in my head is I'm doing four times three is 12, and then dividing it by two. And then the other one, um, six times three halves would give you nine. Now, you guys finish up the rest of the points, but it does say to graph and label. So I can show you point S prime. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and I know it's a 10 by 10 graph, so it would go right there, S prime. Okay, so do the same thing for R and Q, and just to show you the next part, it says use slopes to explain why Q prime R prime is parallel to Q R. So let me give you a little hint with this part, I'm going to kind of break this up here. So after you've graphed it, and you have the coordinates, what you want to do is use the slope formula, right? So what we're going to do is use the slope formula for Q R and for, uh, let me write slope, slope of QR, okay, which the formula is y minus y over x minus x, and we're going to find the slope of Q prime R prime. Now, what do we remember about the slope of parallel lines? The slope of parallel lines is the same. Slope above, let me make a little note here. So we should get the same slope. Now, um, I'll do QR with you guys because we do have those points, but you're going to finish up Q prime, R prime once you get the coordinates after the dilation. So for QR, let's see here. Y minus Y. Okay, I'm going to start with R. So I'm going to do 0 minus 2 and then go back to point R. So X minus X, 2 minus a negative 2 would really be plus 2. So on the top we have negative 2, on the bottom we have 4. I'm going to reduce the fraction down. Uh, negative 2 over 4 reduces to negative 1 half. If it is parallel to Q prime R prime, you guys should get the same slope in the other one. And it says to explain, so you just want to write out a sentence explaining that. Okay, so finish this question up.